on March 12, 2006, a severe weather outbreak struck the Missouri Ozarks, unleashing a barrage of tornadoes that devastated the region. Among the chaos and destruction, a 19-year-old Matt Suter experienced an extraordinary and harrowing event that would make him a living testament to the power of nature's fury. As the supercell thunderstorm bore down on his grandmother's mobile home in Fordland that evening, Matt Suter found himself in the path of an EF2 tornado. The tornado tore through the area, leaving behind a trail of destruction and claiming the lives of two unfortunate individuals. Inside the mobile home, Suter faced a frightening ordeal. The powerful winds shattered windows, ripped away doors, and collapsed walls around him. A large lamp swung wildly across the room, striking him on the head, shredding his scalp and rendering him unconscious. As the tornado pulled apart the trailer, Suter's unconscious body was hurled into the black sky at speeds in excess of 150 miles an hour, 243 kilometers per hour. Carried by the tornado's violent winds, Matt Suter flew an astonishing distance of more than 200 yards over a barbed wire fence, still unconscious. The darkness enveloped him until the tornado finally released its grip, dropping him into a field of lush grass. Bleeding from his scalp wound and disoriented, he awoke to the surreal scene illuminated by a bolt of lightning. In a dazed state, Suter realized he had survived the unimaginable. Flight without intending to fly in the heart of a tornado. After stumbling upon a neighbor's home, Suter was rescued and taken to safety, and despite his head injury and foot scrapes, he was remarkably able to walk. His physician, who examined him in the days following the event, confirmed that the tornado had indeed lifted Suter into the sky. His survival was nothing short of a miracle. His grandmother's home was now a mere memory, and the distance he had traveled was astounding. The National Weather Service GPS system calculated the distance from the mobile home to the field where Suter awoke to be 1,307 feet, or just shy of half a kilometer. The distance traveled holds the Guinness World Record for the longest distance traveled by anyone who has been thrown by a tornado and survived. Several tornadoes struck the area that day, injuring over 30 people and damaging over 550 homes. Suter's incredible solo flight surpassed the legendary instances of tornado-propelled objects in the past. Even the famous Wright Brothers' first airplane flight paled in comparison to the journey that Matt took through the sky that night. The only other comparable event was in 1955, when a tornado swept up a girl and her pony in South Dakota depositing them 1,000 feet away with no major injuries. Matt Suter's survival in the face of an EF2 tornado was a testament to both the raw power of nature and the resilience of the human spirit. His harrowing experience and miraculous escape will forever be etched in history, serving as a reminder of the unpredictable and awe-inspiring forces of the natural world. These are Interesting things with JC.